Wait, that very risky. Anyway, you're probably wondering. It's not really nice. Satoru, tada! Your first persona is Fantasy Knight. I'll import the persona data to your morph watch. Fantasy Knight has both offensive and defensive strength. You can get some practice at the training zone. Go to the training zone. Of course I do. I always want to go to the training zone. Anyway, this is one of the newest newest additions to this game. The personas are the, are the transformations. We have the choice of well, right now, Fantasy Knight. Don't want to spoil what Sayaka version is, but as you can see right now, the this version is, um, is of course a knight. I'll be showing off later what um, Sayaka's um, one is, but for now, got them on. Now we've got. I love that move. This this um, lab that we're going to is um, called well, it's like called Howler Monkeys and Moving Castle, which is it's the reference to Studio Studio Ghibli movie. movie. Ah, that's it. Howl's Moving Castle. That is the reference that they're making. It's a studio good to get me in the game. Max out your gauge by collecting green morph energy pods. They need to do that. Change personas. You'll find morph energy lying around, or you can get it from hitting Teleborg. Anyway, you're probably wondering about the mon monkey. Um, how, how do you tell which ones um, are. Uh, I, um, what type you're going to be going up against? I've got my hands to the man to see it three there, but well, these three guys. I'm not sure if it's the same as the American one, but here we go. You can always tell a person who's a monkey by its color of his pants. Yeah. So this explains yellow pants are simply an average monkey, red pants are a monkey, and basically the, the fighter ones, so um, that one, they'll do heavy damage to you. Black pants they usually have carry a machine gun. I love that move here. But usually it's same as not good. Blue pack monkeys and skaters. Monkey is very fast in the speed, so basically the ones that will constantly run away and you usually have to sneak up on them. Light blue pants run out, they're extremely timid, so you have to basically really look for them to find them, or they'll just be out in the open like they were in the um, um, original. You usually see the blue pants and just them out in the area. Then green pants, and this is making the most powerful missile attacks at you. And then um, they can see you from a very, very far, far distance, so better watch out. Yeah. Yeah. the white pants, um, they've not got the greatest eyesight, but they usually, they usually the ones that control mechs and all this, so you should watch out for them as well. Yeah, I had quite a bit of trouble with this guy right here. So I'm, I'm used to because I don't like I, like I said last step, so the only the only escape games I've got is this and this and then one. Whilst in one once once you've got a monkey that you know, once you got the net over them, that was then you think they couldn't do anything about it. I'll admit I I appreciate the fact that I'm, yeah, but I just got I just got four then. And of course, what's the next room is that I'm clear with the bats now anyway, so there is no real room for us. I 
ko ano yung mag-share na nyo sa TV ko I'm not going to spoil the name because it's actually quite a funny reference. Red Wings. Some. I mean, I'm not going to spoil any any of the names of it. Charge! I love that it's gonna have a lot of the UK versions and Sayaka when she catches them, I swear she's saying Jog on. It's kind of a. It's one of those kind of, kind of British jokes that not very many Americans get. Unless you've seen Hot Fuzz, uh. The movie Hot Fuzz again, Sun Dead, or The World's End. not get this obvious reference then I don't know what's wrong with you. I mean the, the name kind of gives it away but yeah when you see the name. Oh that was a clear that was a clear kill that was a no, that was a clear capture there. There we go monkey up yeah if you didn't get it from that name alone then I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, so so and Nemesis. It's also pottery, like the links and then the massive asses. Good thing to know. Oh yeah, um, I forgot. Uh, cool trivia that um, this yeah. game actually came out in 2005 and um, in yeah. Japan. So um, with that um, the opening is going to say TV since 2006, it will be, it will be, um, it will likely say 2005 to reference the fact when it came out. So I agree with that. If you don't get this, if you don't get this reference, I don't know what's wrong with you because anybody knows the best. And if many of you get it, then it's um, the reference is um, a beauty and the beast. But I don't know how you would get that. So it's kind of obvious, and one of the names is it's even, it's even more painfully obvious. Not this one, but the other one. The cool thing is that, um, is that all the all the transformations, apart from one of them so far that I've seen, have their own, have their own, their own set to um, victory animation. Excellent. So, um, so Sayaka's um, an animation for when she's when she's in um, her um, fancy night is different from when she's in a normal state with the like.
dragon! Aren't you afraid? This dragon's fiery breath has defeated a dozen great knights! Really? Could have fooled me! What? And now you're insulting my masterpiece? Be gone! I'm not leaving here until you return things to normal! Who? Oh, no can do! We are under orders to mesmerize the entire human population! Orders? Whose orders? Oh. Oh. Well, who else? Spectre's orders. Spectre? Fiddlesticks! I forgot. His name is Tip Top Secret. You little brat! This is all your fault! You said it! Not me! Cut the lip! I can't let you leave now that you know the secret! I was scheduled to star in a hit film today! But Hollywood must wait! I've got the hero to slay! <laughs> Let's do it! If I'm right in seeing the, the voice actor for the White Monkey is called, um, is the same. This, this guy, I swear I've heard him in quite a number of um, like kids um, kids adverts for you know, like stuff like it, stuff um, that when like um, so, I find I find these guys in like in adverts for like um, Thomas Tank and kind of adverts, you know those kind of toys for children because it sounds familiar. Funny that I remember him from an advert. I love this, I love, there's a glitch that I did that, I don't think you're supposed to do it, but at one point I was able to get on top of his, um, on top of the mech's neck. It was officially called the mech of the bargain. Yep, right there I got on his, got on the dragon's neck. The new thing to this um, to this game is the is a special is a special um is a special um, attacks that the that the the bosses do. Because in the other games you didn't have any, but if you only you know, had about two or three bosses um, at most, I think three or four I was um, that was it. And then maybe they couldn't have special attacks, it's only the system that got them in. Just wonderful. Hmm. Humans certainly can be very resourceful. What do you think? Shall we pay them a visit? By all means. I will begin preparations immediately. Wait here, dear Spectre. I have to say, I love this cutscene that's coming up, is. <laughs> Especially what that guy right there says. But... Yes. It seems that Spectre has done it once again. Who's Spectre? Spectre sounds familiar, but... Ah, yes. All of that was before your time. Spectre is... Ape Escape 2 footage with um, music from the opening to Ape Escape 1. In Ape Escape 2 they used um, footage of um, Ape Escape 1, the final boss of Spectre. Now he's something of a monkey dictator. I'm no dictator. I'm a great leader. I can see that you haven't yet tuned into our program. Spectre? This is all you're doing, isn't it? Just what are you up to? I just popped along to see what I was up against. Not much it would appear. You're even sillier than my monkeys. How dare you! You'd better give yourself up! Yes, give up! <laughs> I won't be caught this time. I intend not to repeat my mistakes. That's why I've joined forces with one of your own. Hmm? Yes, indeed, my dear Steeter. Presenting 
Befriended by monkeys, feared by fellow man, the ultimate scientist. 28 years old, single, 6 foot 4, including afro. 140 pounds, including afro. Favorite word, perfect, and an uncanny IQ of 1300. Yes, that's me, Dr. Tamuki. And don't you dare forget it. What in heavens? Can't you be normal for once? Stop it for once. Stop a camera! But stop a camera! But this way's much more f this way's much more f this way's much more fabulous. <laughs> what I meant to say is, you don't stand a chance! You said it, Spec. <laughs> well, hello, Tamuki. Huh? How's your head? Any better? This achy? Huh? Uh, I mean, <laughs> Uh, come now, Spectre. Let us uh, not bother with these lowly earthlings. Let us attend uh, to business. Uh? Right. Now, children, sit back and watch the show. Watch the show. Watch the show. Watch the show. Or, if you insist upon challenging me, I'll gladly oblige. Ciao. See you. Um, Aki. Do you know that masked man? You could say that. <laughs> now, now, you have a nasty little smarty pants to catch. Um, a lot of little unfortunate thing about my desk is it's scratched. So that means some of the cutscenes don't function properly. Like that. Thank goodness White Monkey's finally retired. Cheers, of course you see that, see that right away.